Gad fighters will destroy all Russian and Chinese aircraft weapons equipped with artificial intelligence based on new physical principles, huge data processing speeds, and unmanned aerial vehicles will allow the U.S. sixth-generation aircraft to stay ahead of Russian and Chinese competitors for decades. In this video, we'll explain what the sixth-generation American fighter jet will be and why both Russia and China should fear the number 200. In March 2017, China's People's Liberation Army received a major development from the Chinese aircraft manufacturer Chengdu, the J-20 Mighty Dragon aircraft. It was the world's first operational stealth aircraft designed outside the United States, and its arrival ended America's monopoly on stealth aviation. The Mighty Dragon was similar to the best fighter in the sky today, the American F-22 Raptor. However, production of the F-22 was halted in 2011 with only 186 airplanes produced. Today, fewer than 120 are combat capable, and with each passing day, the U.S. F-22 fleet is nearing retirement, while the number of Chinese J-20s continues to grow. Behind the Chinese, the Russians are pulling up with their Su-57s. The second U.S. single-engine stealth fighter, the F-35, is cheaper to produce and operate than the F-22 but has worse performance. To keep up, the U.S. has been secretly developing its next generation of stealth fighters for the past nine years. In 2013, Ariti Prabhakar, director of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, abbreviated as DARPA, said that the government had begun studying an air dominance proposal. That's how the world first learned about the NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance, Sixth Generation Fighter Development Program. More than 10 years later, our knowledge of it has not gotten much bigger. But still, we'll open a little veil of secrecy so that you can imagine what America's weapon will be already in the 30s of this century. The U.S. Air Force Next Generation Air Dominance Fighter is a developmental effort to replace the aging F-22 Raptor with a sixth generation stealth aircraft. However, this aircraft will not necessarily resemble a traditional fighter jet. According to a 2022 Congressional Research Service report, the goal of the program is not to build another combat aircraft, but to develop a weapon capable of dominating airspace. Once completed, the aircraft may look more like a B-21 stealth bomber than an F-22. Yes, that's right. We can say with a 99% probability that the NGAD fighter will be made in a flying wing scheme. What will that do for it? The most important thing is the even greater reduction of visibility on radar. Still, two vertical stabilizers, F-22, far protruding beyond the general contour of the aircraft, is a significant demasking factor. But to get rid of them, neither in the US nor in Russia nor China have not yet been able to. Without them, the airplane becomes too unstable and even the computer cannot cope with its control. Nevertheless, the F-22 Raptor has a phenomenally small effective dispersion area, about 0.0001 square meters. To understand this value, the area of one cent coin is 0.000285 square meters. That's almost three times larger. The performance of Chinese and Russian airplanes is 50 to 100 times worse. Now that America will make its sixth-generation fighter similar to the B-21, it'll break even further away from its competitors on the issue of stealth. But what allows us to say that American scientists and designers are up to the task? First, only the United States already operates airplanes built according to the flying wing scheme. These are the B-2 and B-21. No other country can create such airplanes yet. Secondly, the U.S. is a leader in creating the most powerful processors with huge data processing speeds. Therefore, we don't doubt that the flying wing scheme will be applied to the sixth generation fighter as well. But the flying wing is not only practically invisible on radar, but also can have phenomenal maneuverability. Imagine a heavy pendulum, how hard it is to move, and how it tends to return to its original position. Now turn that pendulum upside down, make it unstable. Now the slightest push is enough to make this thing change its position. It's the same with an aerodynamically unstable airplane. It takes just the slightest amount of force to make it change direction, so the new American fighter will not only be difficult to detect by radar, but also to hit it with a missile, if still seen. The heart of any airplane is its engine. What will it be like on the NGAD fighter? The famous F-22 Raptor has two twin turbofan engines with Pratt & Whitney F-119 afterburner, giving a whopping 70,000 pounds of thrust 
and giving the aircraft a top speed of 2,414 kilometers an hour, or 1,500 miles per hour. That's Mach 2.25, and also supersonic without using an afterburner. Their variable thrust vectoring nozzles allow the pilot to orient the thrust up or down, making this stealth fighter faster and more maneuverable than most of its competitors. Neither China nor Russia has been able to achieve such results so far, but America is not going to wait for them. The sixth-generation fighter will use a three-circuit turbofan engine, which will be even more economical than the two-circuit engine and will have a lower thermal signature, so as to not give the enemy a chance to detect the aircraft with the help of infrared sensors. But such an engine is planned to be used in the first phase of the NGAD fighter. The second phase is the installation of a combined engine, which combines a conventional turbojet engine and a hypersonic straight-through air jet engine in a single propulsion system. Such a system allows the aircraft to use the turbojet engine to accelerate to speeds of about Mach 3 and then switch to the hypersonic engine to reach speeds above Mach 5. Now, the greatest success in the development of the combined engine has been achieved by the American companies Boeing and Lockheed Martin, as well as the British company Reaction Engines Limited. Flight tests of such an engine are scheduled for the mid-2030s. When we return to the three-circuit turbofan engine of the first stage, according to declassified data, part of its energy due to its high power and fuel efficiency will be directed to the operation of weapons based on new physical principles. Yes, we're talking about lasers that can be used for missile defense or hitting enemy targets. And in this field, the U.S. has no equal. In August 2023, Lockheed Martin announced on its official website that it had managed to increase the power of its laser weapon prototypes as part of the second phase of the High Energy Laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance Project, abbreviated as HELSI, to a record 500 kilowatts. In May of this year, another well-known Boeing company conducted the first tests of another combat laser, Advanced Tactical Laser, designed to hit ground targets. This laser is a chemical laser installed on the C-130H transport aircraft. In addition to the laser itself, a tracking and targeting system was installed on this aircraft. The laser was tested at the White Sands Desert Missile Range in New Mexico. The target, a remotely piloted armored vehicle, was reportedly successfully engaged. Boeing representatives claimed that an airplane armed with such a laser is equal to the effectiveness of 130 attack helicopters. The power of each shot of the laser when hitting the target is comparable to a direct hit of a shell from a 105mm howitzer. According to Boeing representatives, in the future, the chemical laser will be replaced by an electronic or light laser, which will reduce the size of the laser and reduce the takeoff weight of the aircraft due to chemical preparations, which means an increase in the range of application of this weapon. So there can be no doubt about it, laser weapons aboard the 6th generation American fighter will be. But the NGAD fighter will dominate in the air not only with the help of laser weapons. In its compartments, the Russians and Chinese will be saved in hypersonic missiles. Now they're being actively developed under two programs at once. The first program, Tactical Boost Glide, abbreviated TBG, was developed by DARPA in conjunction with the U.S. Air Force. This project is aimed at creating a hypersonic glider that can be launched from an aerial platform, reach speeds of over Mach 5, and hit highly protected targets. The second program is the Hypersonic Air Breathing Weapon Concept, abbreviated as HAWK, being developed by DARPA and Lockheed Martin. HAWK is designed to create a hypersonic air breathing missile capable of maneuvering and engaging mobile targets, including aircraft at long ranges. But that's not all the weapons aboard the NGAD fighter. It'll be accompanied in flight by one or two winged drones. They will be controlled by artificial intelligence based on powerful processors. These UAVs are often called Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA for short. They'll be versatile vehicles capable of performing the following functions. Collecting real-time data on the enemy and the environment, striking targets, and defending manned fighter aircraft, and jamming enemy communication and control systems. These drones are expected to be made based on stealth technology. Such guided vehicles are being developed in the U.S. under the Skyborg program. Let us briefly describe the most promising model, the XQ-58A Valkyrie. 
Its length is 8.8 meters, wingspan is 6.7 meters, and speed is about 1,050 kilometers an hour, or 650 miles per hour. That's Mach 0.85. It has a range of up to 3,900 kilometers, or 2,425 miles, and an altitude of up to 13,700 meters, or 45,000 feet. The first flight was successfully completed in March 2019, now, testing and improving functionality for integration into the U.S. Air Force systems is ongoing. And finally, the last highlight of the American 6th generation fighter, which like phenomenal invisibility, will not be achieved by the Russians and the Chinese for a long time yet. It's network centricity. It would seem that network centricity, i.e. the exchange of information between different combat units, is no longer a surprise to anyone. The F-35 stealth fighter already has excellent network centricity, which significantly increases its combat capabilities. But the NGAD fighter will have multiples of this property. After all, it'll have drones that can fly far deep into enemy territory and collect the necessary intelligence data. Most valuable of all, quickly transmit them in large volume to the NGAD fighter for processing by the onboard artificial intelligence, quickly and in large volume, these are the key words, only the U.S. will have such a capability for many years thanks to the Starlink orbital constellation. Starlink has already demonstrated its capabilities in the Russian-Ukrainian war. Ukrainian troops, thanks to the internet from Elon Musk, can effectively coordinate combat operations and control marine drones hundreds of miles away, which have already destroyed half of the Russian Black Sea fleet. Let's clearly show what fast transmission of large amounts of data means. Let a reconnaissance drone shoot a video of enemy territory in 4K resolution and transmit it to the NGAD fighter. In this territory, the Russians have carefully camouflaged the Iskander missile system in the forest, but the artificial intelligence when processing the video will instantly notice minor differences in color and different structures of the camouflage network and the surrounding green trees. The coordinates of this point will be transmitted to the strike drone, and in a few seconds, the strike will be carried out. The Pentagon is well aware of the capabilities of the 6th generation fighter as they announced plans to order 200 such machines. This will guarantee complete U.S. dominance in the skies for at least another 20 to 30 years. These aircraft will be a key element in the country's long-term air dominance and security strategy. With 6th generation NGAD fighters combined with 6th generation B-21 bombers, the U.S. can strike an irresistible blow against any adversary, guaranteeing victory. America was the first to develop a fifth-generation fighter, and it'll be the first to develop the sixth-generation fighter. When do you think NGAD fighters will appear in the skies, and what will be their capabilities? Share your thoughts in the comments. We'd be glad to receive your likes and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!